It's also double Vargoth, remember. It's not just one Vargoth, it's double Vargoth. I could kill myself here, by the way, but it's worth it to see what happens. Hey, buddy, watch this. So we're gonna just do one more heroic run, I think, and then, well, hopefully one. <laughs> I mean, it could take more than one, but hopefully one will get us there. Hopefully one. Look at Fresh and Dandy. Thanks, man. Hey, Spark. How's it going? We're gonna try Finley, even though I think he's worse. One hundred bonus ten seeing you. Tingus, that's crazy. That IRL was the highlight of my day. Tingus, dude, that's crazy. In Australia, of all places, dude, that's crazy. I really wish that you'd gotten a picture, cause I don't know. So Tingus, describe this to me. Thank you for the bits, by the way, man. Much love. Uh, was I like on a like a poster? Was I just like on the screen of the computer? Was it like like what did it look like? I I'm very intrigued by this. Like, was it like a video? Was it like a photo? Where was it at? Was it at Best Buy or just like some other store? Because somebody else had seen they saw something at Best Buy. But still, super surreal, dude. Super surreal. I can't, uh, I can't believe it. I think we're going to take True Silver Lance, guys. And I think we're going to try to race down the Plague Lord. Because he's at 109 health. So if we just hit for five, like every turn, maybe this can get us there, right? Like, Maxwell's pretty sweet, too, don't get me wrong, because if you can play him on the right side, he can do a ton of damage, but it's, like, kind of iffy, and this just gives me a little bit more time. It was a JB Hi-Fi. No, I don't think we have those either. Yeah, pretty much Best Buy of Australia. Hmm. Uh, is your chat followers only now? I don't, I don't think so. I saw you in the mirror today, Subway, 100 I bonus I 10. I don't think so. <laughs> Pyro, is that right, man? That's quite the compliment to yourself. <laughs> quite the compliment. I love it. Uh, thanks, Pyro, for the 100 bits. Uh, Lance is the best weapon. Yeah, I think we're going to try Lance. We haven't really tried it yet. So you're running an overload deck. I think we will be. We've got the hero power, right? We've got uh, they got bubbles no matter what. So I think we'll be fine. We don't have to do full overloads because the bubbles will do us, do us just fine. Uh, I guess maybe sticky death rattles are pretty good against the Cthulhu of the final Plague Lord. Plus, he's going to be killing a lot of my minions, so we need to do like a death rattle deck. So this looks pretty good, actually. Like a survivability death rattle deck. We should try to grab as many death rattles as we can. Reborn, obviously, same story. Any of that stuff we'll try to grab. Uh, thanks, Pyro, though, and thanks, Tingus, and Executus. I don't, I don't think chat is in... Um, any kind of special follower-only mode or anything, dude. It, it should be, as far as I know, just normal. I didn't change anything. Anybody else seeing anything weird about Twitch chat? Um, I don't like follower-only mode, I, for the record. So if it is, it's a mistake. I don't, I don't want it to be in follower-only mode. Uh, Ad-free viewing. Ignore slow mode. Subscriber only chat, subscriber only archives. I don't even see where follower only mode is. Follower only only mode is off. Follower only mode is off. Everything's normal on my end too. Yeah, I think it's okay, man. As far as I know. Leftover from another stream. Oh yeah, maybe you're on another channel. You tell you're telling me you were on another channel. Shame on you. Shame, sir. How dare you cheat on me like this. How dare you, sir. Shame. Shame, shame, shame. You are no longer a follower? Really? Why? That's weird. How does that happen? Or was it intentional? Maybe I shouldn't assume that it was an accident. Maybe you're telling me. I am no longer a follower. I'm mad at you, Regis. Oh, you were testing. Got it. Got it. Uh, Lego Overwatch drops. Oh, yeah, I saw that. That looks pretty sick. Was it more than just Bastion, or was it only Bastion? I guess I didn't see that aspect, but... Well, Bastion alone looks cool enough to be worth whatever, though. That looks awesome. Pretty sweet partnership, too. I kind of wish Hearthstone sold uh, card skins. I know that there's some reason not to show your opponent weird skins. But, oh my god, we could get a lot of free hero powers like this, but we could also overload a ton. I think we're probably better off with Discs of Legend, to be honest. This hero power having overload is just too punishing, I think. No, a lot of hero powers, that would be awesome, but with this one. Uh, so we want Legendaries now as much as possible. 
But I don't really like this elemental package at all. I don't really like any of these packages, to be honest. Um, we don't have, like, any Evolve cards for the Mogu. I guess this is probably the most generally useful, kind of defensive, kind of... Just gives us options to find stuff, right? Discovery. Now we need a Dwarven Archaeologist. Oh, I see you get sprays, too. Got it, got it, got it. Got it, that's cool. I love team-ups like that. Overwatch has done a an outstanding job. The Blizzard team has done an amazing job with Overwatch licensing. They've gotten, like, toys and t-shirts and, like, just everything. Like, cereal, you know, like, they've, they've gone ten times harder for Overwatch licensing than they have any of their other brands. I'm really sad we haven't seen more World of Warcraft stuff like that. I mean, obviously there's been a lot, don't get me wrong, but it's mostly been, like, more endemic to esports stuff, like keyboards and mice and and um, peripherals and mouse pads and it hasn't really extended much beyond that but overwatch has gone super hard super hard wow got a movie that's a fair point that's true wow did get a movie yes good job free attacks yes redemption beautiful oh never mind sad sad again Oh, I forgot the final boss is Plague of Madness. Shoot. This weapon may not work at all. He's got the Plague of Madness that gives us uh, weapons. Oh, shoot. Why didn't anybody tell that to me? Crap. I forgot about that. So there's a good chance our weapon's just going to get destroyed. And it doesn't come back or anything. Oh, man. That's a boo-boo, I think, guys. I think that's a boo-boo. We can wait to play it maybe until after he's played a Plague of Madness or two, but... Hmm. Hey, Elec Man. Hey, Max. Hey, Pokeniner. Hey, Ashigaru. Nothing is more BM than getting eliminated by a barrage of Legos. Does he actually, like, shoot Legos? I didn't see that. That sounds amazing. <laughs> that's hilarious, if true. Uh, d does he defeat enemies by getting stepped on as well? Because stepping on a Lego is the worst feeling in the world. <laughs> the worst feeling in the world. We forgot to read this. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. It might be fun. I mean, if the deck's good enough anyway, the hero, the, the one signature treasure doesn't really matter that much, right? Okay, so these are all the legendaries that we're looking for. Also, Malagos is kind of cool, though. We could find some damage, because playing multiple Malagos would be insane. But I think there's three here, so we take these. Suddenly, all of these just become good tempo plays, right? Like, oh, two seven sevens for six mana. Yes, sir. Even Halazil's good that way, too. I moved out years ago, but my mom still steps on my Lego <laughs> Subway 100 bonus Dude. 10. Dude, I don't know. I think I might have brought a lot of my Lego with me. I don't know if I left any Lego at home or not. I think I brought... I certainly have a lot of it. But I did buy something as an adult, too, so it's... I don't remember whether it's all at home or whether some of it's at home or all of it's here. I don't know. But I have a lot of Lego. I went through a collecting phase as an adult of Lego. Um, I still have a dream to, like, build a giant Lego castle someday. Like, maybe if we retire someday and, I don't know, maybe we get a million viewers and I retire. Retire and, and, and you know, have a little bit more leeway about the kinds of content we create. Maybe I'll start a... a a Lego castle building stream or something, right? Like, we'll build ourselves a nice little Lego castle on, on YouTube videos or something. Today we're gonna work on the uh, the cathedral here in the castle. We've uh, we built the base floor, but now we're gonna start building the walls up. We got some flying buttresses. We've got uh, some parishioners standing inside. You know, that's that sort of stuff. Uh, today we're gonna work on the stables. I had to buy a lot of brown pieces here to build the stables, simulating wood. <laughs> today, today on uh, Regis uh, Regis Buildman, we're gonna uh, today we're gonna work on uh, the uh, the armory. I had to buy a lot of swords off of uh, pick a brick, but we've got ourselves a nice little armory coming together. Oh my god, I, this boss is really hard, by the way. This boss always scares us. Um, yeah, I, I built castles only is really all I ever cared about, I guess. just going to place a bush over here and that will be our little secret. <laughs> cool story, Bob um, the, Subway. I'm going to be the, the that's a great idea. The Bob Ross of Lego is actually a sick idea. Yeah, that's a really, really good idea. 
The Bob Ross of Lego. That's what I want to be. I think we can just go face on this boss and win now, thankfully. This weapon's going to be handy up the Plague Lord, if nothing else, man. Oh, no. Ferocious Howl. That's not what I wanted. Jeez, dude. It's not cool. The fact that this gains two durability all the time is crazy. It just it just scales so hard. So hard of a scale. Uh, thanks, Pyro, for the hundred bits. By the way, too much of a pleb for heroic. Uh, it's not that it's not that different, dude. Like it's a little harder, but I, I don't think it's like crazy harder for the record. I think it's okay. Uh, what's our base health right now? Are we at 20 base health? I don't actually know. Do you guys remember? I don't personally remember. Um, just in case, I guess. I don't, I don't really think we're going to need Your that. I, I'm a little bit worried about, uh, yeah. 20 or 25. Oh, we're 25. That's good. This is going to heal again, right? A little worried if there's like Savage Wars in the stack. I don't know exactly what his deck does. But if he had some kind of big follow up, that could have been bad, right? Ooh, that's a problem though. Shoot, I can only go to seven on oh, my dude. So I can kill that with my weapon, but it's just sort of a pain. Um. I guess we'll just do something like this. I should have hit the button first, obviously. Hello, I know, my bearded I know, friend. I know, I know. How I are it, you I today? Will there be I a am good today. Video today. Have a good one. Uh, Goblin, there will, yeah, there will, dude. And in fact, there will be one tomorrow as well. And then Saturday, I think I'm going to be doing um, Elise Star Seekers uh, top treasures or whatever, or see ranking her treasures and hero powers or whatever. For in preparation for next week's wing unlock, where we get a loose. And then Sunday. What am I doing on Sunday, guys? I don't remember. Um, Sunday schedule is. Mm, is that actually what I'm gonna do? Maybe Sunday I'll do some deck videos. No, actually, I might make that video Sunday. That sounds like a pretty fun video. It's not particularly timely, so I don't know if it needs to be done, but God, I really want to do it. None of the other videos I have in line are that timely. Well, that one's kind of timely. Hmm. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But um, there's a chance. You're telling me there's a chance? Yeah, there's a chance... That we, uh, oh man, these sort of suck. I mean, this is clearly the best of taking the trade here. I think, I think this is the one time I attack a minion, right? Because I want this to have a pretty good, I, I could push for lethal potentially, right? Like if it had, uh, if, if it had gone face, we could have had a lethal out, but this is fine. We're not in a, in a huge hurry right now. And, oh, this is actually insane with our weapon. And if it clears the minion too, that's fine. Like, if it doesn't clear the minion, we're set up for lethal next turn. Although we're not, because that's a top minion. If it did if it did clear, uh, we cleared the minion. So we were happy in both cases, I think, right? Okay, so we now have lethal, thankfully. Yeah. His positioning mistakes here helped us a lot. Thank you, boss. Always appreciate the uh, AI helping us out. Uh, but Goblin Elf, yeah, coming soon, man. Which of the Plague Lords do you think is the most fun to fight so far? I actually prefer the second one. The Cthune is kind of annoying, but I like the carousel aspect. Like, it's tough, but it's, like, rewarding when you get it right. When you feel like you nailed it, you're like, oh, yes, perfect. Oh, my God, this is actually great because our Plague Lord is super low health. Our Plague Lord is super low. So we'll take the Gnome Obliterator to try to finish off the Plague Lord, right? Dwarven Archaeologist is sick for us because we have a lot of Discover cards already. Oh, but this is good, too, because these are all legendaries. And some of these are just fantastic tempo plays. Yeah, I think we have to take Legends, honestly. Oh, this is good, too, though. Vargoth is pretty sweet with a lot of cards, like Ancestral Spirit. Um, God, we could get double Vargoths on board, and then, like, Spirit Echoes, and then, like, Ancestral... Oh, no, Obliterator with Vargoth. Oh, my God. Yeah, we're taking this, I guess. 
They're all pretty good, honestly, or the, those two, I should say, are pretty good, but I think the Vargoth is too intriguing. Too intriguing. But anyway, I like the carousel shenanigans. I really like this wing's um, twist. I think the, the rightmost dominion tacking twist is one of the most strategically rewarding and interesting twists we've had so far from Dollar and Heist or, or this one, Tombs of Terror. Like, it's, uh, I think it's really fun, personally. Okay, do I want these minions? They are all interesting, right? Like, these two in particular are amazing because they're legendaries. These two I could live without, but I think we will... I think we will take fast food here. And we'll probably just go pack meal. I think it's the best. Um, we could try to replace the Nightmare Amalgam. It's pretty weak, I guess. And then, then do that. Um, these all sort of suck. Maybe I'll go Hosen Healer. Hosen Healer. They all sort of suck. I don't really want any of those. Uh, raise your hand if you repeatedly slapped yourself for positioning. I don't think we've had too many boo-boos. Here and there, you know, maybe once or twice a run we, we forget or we just kind of play fast and, and roll through it. But definitely you're not alone, man. <laughs> you're certainly not alone. A lot of people, I think, are, have felt that one. But that's what makes it fun, right? It's like you learn to pay attention, you learn to, like, focus, and, and suddenly, like, you've learned. You're better at Hearthstone all of a sudden. Pretty cool. Hey, Elyon, He's he says, he or she says, uh, raise his hand. Yes, Elyon sounds kind of like, it might not be a he name, but who knows. I call all you guys he half the time. Um, I play way too fast for my own good. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, well, it is an adventure mode. There's a lot of leeway to make mistakes. Particularly in normal. In, in heroic, you might have to tighten up a little more, but you can still make mistakes. Nobody cares at the end of the day. Okay. So that's 10 to the Plague Lord. All right. I haven't actually seen that card in action, by the way, so I don't know how the thing kind of... Uh, Hmm. All of these are unplayable except for this one, so I guess we'll play this one. I want to utilize the discount, and the other ones weren't so good that I think they're you know not or uh, the discount, or they're worth losing the discount, I should say. So Lothab's amazing because it's two Lothabs, right? That's really cool. True Silver going down to two mana is even better. That's really cool. Good job, Lothab. Auto defense on these is nice if the boss cares, but it might accidentally. Okay, nope. Alrighty. Um, Halazil's nice because it's just a ton of minions again. I, I know that we have the Lance, but we can play the Lance later, right? This is just so many minions. Just overwhelming the board, right? Snip Snap's gonna give him a lot of armor. Shoot. Well, maybe. I don't know. Depends on how he does this, right? Yeah, he's gonna get he's gonna get four probably at least. Emergency armor repair. Okay. And the button two, of course. So he's at 14. We have lethal. Cool. Yay, go team. Oh, I attacked an extra attack. What a waste of ten seconds of my life. I have the same problem in video games in general. I play way too aggressively, especially in Overwatch. Yeah. Particularly games like that, it's easy to get them over your head pretty quickly. I might be the opposite in, in shooter games. I think I might be too cautious sometimes and try to take things a little too slow. Ozrock is sort of cool with our double legendary thing. I don't really know. I guess I did say I wanted a lot of Reborn and Death Rattle minions, though, which this does provide. Dwarven Archaeologist is also kind of cool, but maybe we just take this. Death Rattles are really good against... Uh, the Cthulhu, right? That was our plan. Good against Cthulhu. Although I think we have shifted a little bit more towards like, we're going to try to kill him quick, you know? The auto charge thing for the Madness Wing continues through Freeze, which seems broken. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it's the same interaction as Mass Hysteria, right? Like, I think things that force an attack, it doesn't matter if they have zero attack, it doesn't matter if they're frozen, they can still attack. So I, I think it is probably at least consistent, if, if not maybe desirable. Uh, they're calculated errors. 
Elyon, how did I know that? Have we talked about that before? I just had like this instinct in my brain that was telling me to get it right. I don't know why. Maybe we've talked about it before and I just remembered. I don't know. I just had a, I had a feeling in my brain. Um, I don't know why. I can't see your profile picture, so that's not it. I don't know. Organic and, um Hello, how's it going? Good to see you, Arcanican. You're typically a patch reviewer. Oh, interesting, cool. Patch has been nabbing some wins in Grandmasters. It's cool to see. Uh, she gets so much hate on Twitch chat for some insane reason, but then I was like looking and like half of the, not half, but a handful, quite a number of the, uh, of the other competitors have actually like zero or one wins. She's like ahead of, she's not even like at the bottom of all of the Grandmasters. Like, I don't know how she ranks specifically in Asia Pacific, but when it comes to all Grandmasters, her results are not an anomaly. Like, and in fact, better than a handful of people. So I don't really understand the hate. It's weird. It seems so odd to me. It's like, oh, we're going to act like she's bad, even though she's performing uh, sort of, you know, in the middle or maybe maybe still you know, below the middle, but certainly performing comparably to the other 64 best people in the world, right? Or 48 best people in the world? I don't know how many are there. 3, 10, 16, 48, I guess. It seems odd to, to be critical at that point. I mean, I think the quality of play for, for GM has disappointed a lot of people. I'm personally not going to say anything because I am much worse than all of those players. I, I perhaps do expect them to have a higher sort of... Uh, higher, better results pool than myself. So maybe I'm disappointed in some ways, I guess. But, but not really. Uh, since she moved, I can't catch the streams anymore. Oh, did she change stream time since she moved? Yeah. Did she, um... Is she in the U.S. now? I think that's right, right? She moved to the U.S.? I've only met... Pa oh, no, I met Patrick twice, actually. I met Patrick Poliskon very briefly for just, like, two seconds. She was, like, walking around with Slissa, and I was like, Oh, hey! Or, actually, I think they were like, Oh, hey. I was too shy to say anything. Um... And then I hung out with Patra a fair bit at uh, the showdown in Valoran. She was one of the contestants, right? So, not like hung out, but at the event, you know, we, we saw each other. Paris to the U.S. Is uh, Tind Tindo here too? Is that how you say his name? I never remember. Tindu, Tindo? Tindo, right? Tindo. Battle cries trigger twice. I don't think that's worth much in this deck. Spells cost one less is reasonably okay. Certainly better than the battle cries, right? Well, we got Dr. Boom, we got Grumble, we got Ivory Knight. You know, we got Shutterwalk. We got Hosen. Like, the bottom half of the deck doesn't look very battle cry laden, but now that I look at the top half, it's looking pretty good. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of spells, so I think it actually is battle cries. Just because of the top end. Okay, battles it is. Definitely not Tech of Wonders, by the way. Definitely not. So now we can think about legendaries or battle cries. And there's no battle cries here that are valuable, so we'll definitely take legendaries. Two wicker flames sounds pretty good, for instance. I hung out with her in Amsterdam and we shared an Airbnb with her in Berlin. Oh, sick. That's cool. She brought the dog with her. Oh my god, I hope I get to beat it because he's the cutest little fatty, fat neck dog I've ever seen. I love his big fat neck. So chubby and cute looking. I don't think he's actually like overweight, but he just looks, you know, fluffy and chubby. He looks so cute. Uh, remove friendly minion from your adventure deck. We could probably do that with Bolvar. Wasteland Assassins. Honestly, better than you might think, I think, in this mode. Recruit. Sylvanas is awesome against Cthulhu, so we could definitely take the Sylvanas. Let's take Sylvanas. And let's just maybe, uh... Let's see if there's any cool new stuff we can do. Let's figure out what maybe we go... Maybe we go like this. Maybe we go like this, if there's nothing cool to do, right? Uh, we could remove the, the Whirling Zapomatic, but the problem is we only get one buff, right? The ones I want to remove are on the outsides. Uh, Kindle, it might be good for us too. We have some pretty bad spells, right? Um, I actually sort of like Spirit Echo. Maybe we'll get rid of Haunting Visions. I think it's okay, but 
Uh, it's. I think these other ones are better for us against Cthune in the final boss. I definitely don't want to get no obliterator gone. <sighs> nah, this is probably going to be worse than helpful. I think we'll just do like this. I like this better than the Zabomatic, for the record, because it's uh, it's got Reborn, which I think is helpful against Cthune, having stickier minions and stuff. If he plays an early Cthune or a low-buffed Cthune, we could still have a board after the Cthune, maybe. Uh, that's a lot of Boombots from Dr. Boom. Well, I don't think the Boombots will copy themselves. We'll get, but we will get a lot of minions, yeah. So we get two Dr. Booms and four Boombots. Which is six minions just for playing Dr. Boom. Which is pretty sick, actually, yeah. You're right, that's pretty crazy. The curve here's gonna be nice, jeez. Curve's gonna be nice. Hey, Diamond Light, how's it going, dude? Hey, Levathon. Hey, Enrivez. Hey, Megazord. I love Megazords, man. The original Megazord's one of the coolest things ever. That was such a big deal, and, uh... I loved Power Rangers so much as a kid. OG original Power Rangers. Generation 1 Power Rangers were so good. Uh, hey, Curd Vix. Hey, Darth Ago. Uh, when you kill the boss, you have to fight a full board of worms? Are you serious? Oh, I didn't know that. That's a good warning. Hey, Max. Uh, we didn't do that on... It's only on Heroic, huh? Hey, Arcanic and Alec Man. Itamiki. Big bro, Katsu. Um, Executus. Oh, the double battle cries anomaly for Cthune. Oh yeah, that is not something you want to see. Unfortunately, this minion is like, <laughs> come on, man. I think we'll still do it. Um, we might take a trade anyway, right? Like. It might take a trade anyway. Okay. He was going to destroy it regardless, so it doesn't really hurt anything. Oh, it does actually hurt something, because now I lose my minion, but again, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, no. He's going to kill that, isn't he? Jeez, I'm breaking my curve here, too. Oh, no. We can play two Electras next turn for 6-6 six, six and stats. It's fine. This boss is tough, by the way. I feel like this boss is scary good. We could easily lose to this boss, right? Easily. That's definitely something I'd love to play with this Electra, but I don't have the luxury of waiting. I have to play this now. I just and I'm gonna have to play Ancestral Guardian soon too, because we're getting hit hard probably. We're getting hit. Oh, that sucks that he doesn't. I guess that's not random probably, but it's still annoying. Uh, actually, we're gonna do it like this, right? Um, Your presence offends me. Same, shame we don't get to use that on face. Good attack there. Um, I, sadly, he's going to hit this now, but still, I got a lot of healing, which was good. Ooh, Sylvanas could be nice. He's going to destroy that, pop the Sylvanas, and Sylvanas is going to steal the high main. Oh my god. This is beautiful. Oh, Sylvanas, no! Now he might destroy this, I think. Oh, I forgot. She's, if she had attacked anything else, we were fine. Oh my god, wait a minute here. Um, okay, hold up. So we... <laughs> hold up. This is not as easy as it looks at first glance because... It's like, so like what we could do normally, right, is like trade in the Hyena, trade in Sylvanas, and steal his Sylvanas, right? Um, but this means he's going to destroy the lowest health thing at the end of the turn. So I think... <clears throat> what I really should do is just trade this into Sylvanas, hope that my Sylvanas hits face, or whatever I play, I guess, needs to hit face. I can make it Wicker Flame so that Sylvanas doesn't die to the trade. And then, oh, but if I play Wicker Flame, he'll destroy the Wicker Flame. Oh, no. Shoot. Shoot. Trade Hyena in the bomb. Well... I can, but then his hero power is going to just kill... Well, I guess it just kills... Well, yeah, okay, sure. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Yeah, maybe I just play the... Whatever, the Wasteland Assassin then. And we're good to go, Let right? Okay, survive. I actually like that better. That's simpler. I was worried about his hero power destroying my Sylvanas, but... Yeah, you're right, you're right. Let's just make the hero power destroy something else. I was thinking, you know, coax the hero power into destroying this to maximize our value. But you're right, this is a good cool one. This is much cleaner.
And now we kind of just play whatever, right? Maybe even the Mistcaller is fine. He'll destroy it, which is fine. We want Sylvanas to attack because that maximizes damage. And we can probably hit this button up too. Legendaries are good, right? Legendaries are good. Okay, so we swung pretty hard. That's good. You're right. No need to get fancy. I got too fancy too fast. Too fancy too fast. Okay, currently he might actually... So I can force him to... Um, to hit the Sylvanas, right? If I put... if She's the lowest health thing on board, but that might be too sneaky again. I think I'm just going to play Ayas, honestly. ay yeah. yeah. Yeah, let's just go face. I think we just play Ayas and go face. I'm feeling pretty okay. Either way. He'll destroy an Aya or a Sylvanas, which is fine in either regard. Aya is ridiculous value. Yeah, Aya right now is, is just obscene. So we get we get uh, double battle cries. Two Ayas, which are each going to summon more Jade Idols, right? Oh, I forgot these are getting going to get what's killed. That's even better. Oh, perfect. Even better. Even better. Um, Krogwa has better stats for the double legendaries, right? Sweet! Face damage is good. So he destroys the 1-1. One -one. He magnetizes the spider bomb. Interesting. That is something I would love to steal, which I think I can now do. I think we just uh, trade here. Trade here. Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Scratch that. Uh, never mind. We cannot do that anymore. Jade's everywhere, though. Is this just lethal? 8, 11, 13. Uh, it's lethal if the right things hit face, but otherwise not. Um, okay. I mean, that's... Well, we can look for a lethal here, too, maybe. Nope. Your presence it's like a 50-50 for lethal, right? And we heal a ton anyway, so it doesn't really matter. No! No! So this gets destroyed. No, this gets destroyed. Okay. Reborn not great against this boss, sadly. Those Ayas, though, man. What ridiculous value on those Ayas. Oh, we should've went for the spider bomb, boy. Guess you were dead regardless, but... No, he could've got spider bomb, actually, and killed this, maybe. Yeah, I think he had a chance. He had an out there. Uh, golems are a girl's best friend. Yep. Yep. Okay. Choose your loot. Yep. Okay. Uh, those suck. These kind of suck. These sort of suck too. I mean, we can get like a uh, new challenger earthquake off this. Malagos is two Malagoses, which would be cool with a gnome obliterator late in the fight. Um, although, you know, that's a lot of mana. Okay, we'll take big bad spells. Jolene Notley. That's a weird name, I feel like. Like, where did they come up with the name Jolene Notley? <laughs> Maybe it's a reference to something. Jolene, Jolene. The song, the Dolly Parton song. Mally Goose's Mally Goose's or Mally Geese. I think it's Malagasy. <laughs> I took it a whole different direction. Malagasy. It's like cacti, but Malag Malagusai. Malagusisis. Malagusisis. That's it. Malagusisis. I found it. Nailed it. Malagusisis. That's it. Should have thought of that one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just keep stacking, just stacking pluralizations on it until you find one you like. No spells is good news. Okay, sick. Sick, sick, sick. Um, did he miss the mortal coil draw? He did, yeah, good job. Okay, we'll wait because I want to play Wicker Flames next turn. Still no spells in hand is awesome. She is not getting a spell. If we get spells, I will feel moderately compelled to play them. Not like super compelled, but moderately compelled, right? Sandstorm might be nice once we clear this off, although maybe not so good. Interesting attacks there. This has to... Well, no, no, that's actually pretty good. If this were to roll here... I don't know which of these goes off first, though. I guess it doesn't matter. Oh my god, dream scenario for the boss. Well done, man. Well 
done. I don't really need to play this now. Might just look for something here. Although the unfortunate reality is now I'm going to be overloaded on my turn five. But I guess that doesn't matter because I don't have anything to do with So now he's going to get an earth, or she's going to get an earthquake. I got the best deal anywhere. This That's one's a real something we need to remember. I, I need to play this as soon as possible, right? But I can't. I, I, just, I don't have the luxury of doing that right now. Uh, Ancestral Guardian's pretty sick. I don't want to hit the button, though, because I want to play Sylvanas as soon as possible, right? We could have gotten Sandstorm here as well to clear this, but this guy takes trades, too, so it's kind of the same difference. Most of the time, anyway, he takes trades. So, she's now going to have two Earthquakes, right? Hopefully this hits the minion. Nice, because it was going to kill it anyway, right? So she has two Earthquakes right there. It's going to make getting a board difficult right really difficult she might even use it if i play the sylvanas right now i don't think i should play the sylvanas then i think we should play the halazeal instead and uh that's gonna make the earthquake much more awkward for her god i don't even know if this is gonna be good or bad or what but <laughs> we'll do it man it's gonna have a lot of action i know that much so does she earth she does not earthquake here, okay. And this little gnome burns your dude. I am gonna play oh I can't play Earthquake here. Shoot. I don't know if that overload was worth it then. Um this is pretty nuts. This is a really good battle cry, right? We get double battle cries. We get two mist callers, so everything's gonna be super buffed right now. Right? Super buffed. Which is also good against the Earthquakes, which she now has a billion of. Literally a billion. Confirmed to be a billion Earthquakes. <laughs> Just confirmed. Um, I mean, I guess I can play things that are bigger than Earthquake, though, right? So, But I need to play this Earthquake as soon as possible, but I guess I don't care. I guess I don't care right now. We're just gonna go face. To write the great Azerothian novel, you know. We're just gonna go face. Will she even play an earthquake here? I don't know, because these have eight health, right? She may not. She may not play the earthquakes here. She does. They're five mana. Okay. I forgot they were discounted. She's gonna play two earthquakes here. She's not. She's playing an implosion. So there's yet another Earthquake. I do have to get rid of this soon, or she's going to have infinite Earthquakes. Like, we need to start with... Oh! Oh, she could get New Challenger too, which is a bigger problem, perhaps. So, never mind. We'll play New Challenger right now. And, um... Blatant Decoy seems pretty good. Because even our low-cost minions are going to be amazing. Okay... Earthquake does not kill this right now. That's nice. Two do, though, but that's a great result. The fact that she used two of those Earthquakes like that is wonderful news. Even killed one of her own minions there. Reduced her. So that's another Earthquake. <laughs> oh my god, these Earthquakes are real, dude. What does our Shutterwalk have, guys? I have no idea. Let's just play Malagos because it's so hard to kill, right? Technically, maybe we should put those on the left. It's better for trading in the future, but this turn it's better to have the lifesteal attacking an additional time, right? Oh, she can actually kill her the Malagos at 14, can't she? Oh boy, but that might be... Oh my god, there are so many earthquakes happening right now. I have got to play this at some point. That's at deal 15 because of the Malagos. <laughs> I have got to start playing that, but I just don't want to because it's like my whole turn. It feels so bad to play it, but I'm never going to get anywhere if I don't. Okay, I, we just got to commit to it, right? Like, it's just got to happen. She is also going to get some Ancestral Spirit action now, but that's okay. We're going to double discover on this, which is nice. Um, Axe is probably good to just try to hit face some. We don't want spells for sure. Spark Partner is kind of cool with Shutterwalk, maybe. Okay. Um, okay. That doesn't help her right now. So she got an Ancestral Spirit, which is... Honestly, pretty good for her, I would argue. I think that's pretty nice. I think Shutterwalk does a lot of damage to the board, to be precise. A lot of damage. 
<laughs> um, I think we maybe just go like Sylvanas Ancestral Spirit. I want to dump these I Ancestral no Spirits, right? I don't want any spells in hand. So. And then, I don't know, give it to or whatever. I don't think that matters, but... Does she have any Earthquakes left? Was anybody counting? I wasn't counting. I don't know. We don't have Deck Tracker up, so I wasn't really aware of, of how many no there might have been. Twisting Nether instead. Okay, sure. Jeez. Alright. I guess this is a grumble turn. Maybe we just play a Shadow Rock. We have two of these idiots anyway. I don't even know what happens here. I think we get like a lot of cards. Oh, the buffs! Oh my god, the buffs! Holy crap. <clears throat> Our deck is gonna be so buffed because this is gonna go off twice, right? Like, look at that. Look at that. <clears throat> that is beautiful. Now she gets this and the, and the bring it on. Which I guess is a lot of health, unfortunately. Another Earthquake! She did have another one! Does she have two more? She did! Oh my god, her whole deck was Earth... Or her whole hand, I should say. So this is lethal, though, thankfully, so... Does not matter. This was a fun game, man. Oh my god. Double uh, Battle Cries is awesome. New Slash will do him struck by multiple Earthquakes completely destroy. <laughs> yes. Fill her in with Beastial Wrath. That's not a bad idea. Just like lock her out of the game. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Um, I think we got to take the Stone Fox statue here, right? It's not my favorite, but we have a lot of big legendaries and stuff. A lot of like big Dr. Booms. It would be amazing. Also, I guess we could take the Cthoon of our opponent. I don't know if it goes down to 6-6 six, six in that regard or not. If we like survived a Cthoon turn. So I, these, we already have a big weapon we're trying to build on, right? I don't want to do that. The True Silver Lance. Murky's Battlehorn, I don't think, does enough, so. Stone Fox it is. This is a pretty sick package for us, honestly. We have some cool Zintimo stuff with, like, Ancestral Spirit. We have, uh, Bolvir, not particularly good, but, you know, just any legendary. Electra plus Gnome is pretty sweet, if we can get that going. We didn't really play our Gnome Obliterator much, so. It's not gonna do a ton of extra damage. Not gonna do a lot. I got the Regis laugh, yeah. <laughs> I remember you rated Stone Fox Statue weak. It is pretty weak. I don't really like it. Um, it's the best there, though. <laughs> None of those were better. When you know, it, it, when you say it's weak, it doesn't mean you never play it. It's, it depends on your deck. It depends on context, right? There's a lot of uh, lot of complications there. So, for instance, we already had a weapon we're building on, so the middle one weapon didn't make any sense. I don't. Even, oh, Murlocs is also. I don't really like that card either. And particularly in this deck, when we have a lot of late-game cards already, we don't really need that. So. Did we legit only get 20? That sucks, man. Oh, but it did push him into the third phase already. Okay. Um, that's probably good news, maybe. Kind of. I don't know. Seems like it could be. Alright, we gotta figure this out, though. I mean, this is why we went for Reborn and Death Rattle stuff. This and Cthulhu both, but... I don't know if it'll be good or not still. Do you hear its call? But 89, you know, we can get there. That's certainly not uh, impossible. I don't think I want to overload on this, really. Oh, good, okay, this is a play. Neither of these are really exciting plays, but at least here I don't overload. Yeah, just keep going face. That's how we'll win. Just ignore all minions. Just always go face, right? <laughs> That's how we'll do it. I see the victory incoming right now. All right, we'll play Storm Chaser. We're super behind right now, though. Man. Already crazy. Oh, actually, Lothab's way better. We'll play Lothab. Okay. Electra Earthquake is kind of nuts. Oh my god, we are just going face. I I guess right now that's good, because we don't really want his minions to be dying. Alright. Yeah, that's that's all my stuff gone. There it goes. It's all dead. This is a heal for 12 at least, so that's good news. <gasps> Uh, this will draw two spells. My hand is actually going to be full. If I have to. I don't know if I have to or not. We did. Oh, boy. That's okay, though. I don't think we care. The only card I don't really want to burn, I guess, is, like, Sylvanas, right? Oh, my God. I'm actually going to have to Earthquake soon. Jeez. It's sort of perfect against these minions, but... Currently a tad too expensive. Frogwa doesn't matter. That's fine. Uh, yeah, we'll play the Mistcaller right now. This is a good turn for it, probably. 
Because we're gonna earthquake anyway, so we're not like looking to build a giant board or anything. Couple minions here. We're gonna as soon as one trades, it's gonna kill the other. Unless it hit this, right? But, or could have killed itself too, I guess. Okay, Surrender Madness is probably good for us. Earthquake here is what we need. Just clear this board out while it's not hurting me a ton. Gnome Obliterator again. So does this deal 40 damage? Or does it... I guess the second half of this doesn't activate again, right? The second half only activates one time, maybe? I don't know how this works. I don't know how this works, chat. You know how this works? Does it, does it only deal... 10 or does it deal 40 either way we have electra so um i could just try to do it right now and see what happens it dealt 20 okay so it like resets itself so that that means it will deal 40 with electra right oh i have vargoth as well next turn can i just go vargoth electra no obliterator and win as long as I don't die this turn? The first sin is random, that's true. The first sin is random. It could hit our face, which is fine, but it would still deal the additional to the boss, right? Let's just try to stay alive and then do that next turn and see what happens, right? Like, let's just try to stay alive and see what happens. This is a lot of healing, so theoretically, anyway. Oh, well, still a lot of healing. That's okay. Because now this will attack again. Wait, why did it not attack again? Oh, because that was the first attack. Never mind. The auto attack had already parked. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. So, we're not going to die if I try this, right? It's also double Vargoth, remember. It's not just one Vargoth. It's double Vargoth. I could kill myself here, by the way, but it's worth it to see what happens. So that dealt 10, and then an additional 10, and then an additional 10, and then an additional 10. That was the Electras. Now the Vargoths get to go off. And I think they only deal 20, right? Unless the... Because we, we could deal 20 to ourselves. We could hit some of his random minions. But theoretically, we could deal an additional 40 to the boss right here, right? Okay, we killed one of our own Electras, but that's going to deal 10 to the boss. And then this is going to hit something random. That's fine, we lose a minion, but deal 10 to the boss. That is crazy. That's crazy! What was he at? He was like 80, right? He was at like 80. Oh my god. Okay, although, man, we've lost the board super hard, so I'm, I'm actually kind of scared now. Um, so as exciting as that was, I need to make sure I don't die here. I do have Jinyu that'll heal for 12, which is pretty sweet. I could even, like, Jinyu Stone Fox statue, right? And just play a bunch of Jinyus to heal. Like, these are kind of cool because they're big taunts, but I think I'd rather just heal a bunch right now. That's 8 mana. I could even play Spirit Echoes as well on all of this stuff. That's probably worth it. I think that's cool. Because C'Thun could come down and kill us pretty soon otherwise. So this is a full heal. I should have maybe played those in a different spot, actually. Um, I don't want that minion to die right away because it's going to kill something when it does, right? Oh boy. It's at 21. So we're still technically okay right now. This kills another minion. Man, this hero power is brutal to deal with if you fall behind on board at all. I mean, if you're ahead on board, I guess. But without a bunch of tokens, it's hard to deal with, man. So I'm overloaded for three this turn. But I do have Electra shenanigans again if I want them, right? So is this like a Don Honcho, I guess? It's going to be huge minions. It's going to be a ton of buffs. One of these hitting face, for instance, would, like, potentially just win the game, maybe. Okay. That was a good hit, sort of. I mean, we lose... Oh, no. He played it on the left, thank God. 
But how do I deal with it? I can't. I don't know how to kill it or anything. I don't know. How, I don't have a way to kill it right now. If he played it on the right, we'd be dead. Um, Sylvanas. That doesn't kill it. I mean, this is taunt, but <laughs> this is not how you win the game. Um, we're so screwed. <laughs> we're so screwed. Are we really gonna lose this boss at 16 health right now? No way, man. No way. Why can't you be in my hand? <laughs> ah, why are you only gonna be on board, you idiot? Like, we can destroy that right now. Oh my god. Um, I guess le leather clad hog leader is the best bet here, right? Like always. And do we take hoggers for even more taunts? I guess so, yeah. I guess so, right. Okay. Kind of wish this one had gone off at a different time, right? Okay. So we're still alive, technically, it looks like. But how do I... F oh, my God. Sap? I, he just missed lethal, right? Like... He just needs to, like... Oh, my God. This boss is... So oh, my God. What? Stop targeting my face. I can't, I can't do it right. I'm dead. This is so insanely sad. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. There's no way for me to get 16 to the face, right? I can't, like, sneak an attack through to the Anyone face. I can do 8, you is an but not 16. Oh my god. This is so insane. Heal? It does. He has 30 attack on board. I, I don't think I can... I can only heal for... 36, but he has 39, 40, 41, 42, 45. Um, I mean, I can try to heal and take a good trade with the Micro Mummy, I guess. It seems very bad, though. I mean, it, I think it's technically alive, which is better than dead, but... Like, if this hits maybe the Sonya, or the, the Dr. Boom doesn't help. The Cthune doesn't help. Gotta hit maybe Sonya. Oh, but now Doc, now Cthulhu is the auto attacker. So if he just clears the board, it's the same. Oh, I'm still just dead. I can't map at all. I had to have a taunt of some sort too. Yeah, there was no out then. There was no out. That was 39 damage on board. Yeah, he'll be 16 hero power, 16 HP. But I'm just annoyed that we got to do it again. You know, I think we would beat this so much faster if we were just playing Reno. Reno would have demolished this, right? I feel like Reno is so much better than Finley. We can also go over the other better uh, Finley hero power now, though. We did finally unlock the third hero power, so... 16 freaking health. I think Finley is is just much, much weaker. And I don't think she's... Well, we never saw the boss play Plague of Madness in that third phase. Do you guys think he has Plague of Madness in the third phase or not? Because this was pretty handy on the way to the boss. Like, there's a couple of games we would have lost without this. But we aren't going to take the hero power, so maybe Maxwell's better without the hero power, right? We're going to take power up and set up bubble blower, so... Maxwell's pretty sweet with that. That's a lot of damage. Um, back in action does still seem like the right choice, given the hero power of the boss, even though he's only got 16 health. If I just get, like, one gnome obliterator, nothing else matters, right? We'll just end the, end the boss. Um, just end the boss. Is there a reward for finishing it all? I think you get a card back for beating all the heroic stuff, yeah. I gotta go back and get some of the card backs that I've missed, by the way. There's still a handful of card backs that I never got. So we've still got some work to do to chase that stuff down. I'll eventually do it. Like, I don't care too much about completionism because I missed one of the season card backs. If I had gotten the first season card back, there are so many more things I would have worked to do. Like, because I actually could have had a complete card back collection if I'd gotten the first season one. Well, I guess, I guess always the uh, the esports one, the golden celebration or whatever it's called. That one's pretty tough to get, to be honest. I would have trouble getting that one because you have to like compete and win or, or place high in like a major esports event or something. I don't know. So maybe not all of them, but there are a handful I could have got at least. Oh, it's lethal. Cool. Tough, tough boss here. <laughs> tough boss. <laughs> 
Uh, it, Rito is much more consistent. Yeah, Finley can do some crazy stuff. We have done some crazy stuff with Finley. That's true, actually. That's true. Band of Bees is pretty good in this wing, given the uh, ability to put small stuff on the right and take trades. But I really like Discs of Legend with Maxwell. And just in general, I think this card has been much better than I thought it was going to be. Much, much better. Uh, that said, we do have some legendary options here with Alec here. I like Divine Shield generally. It's kind of bad because our hero power gives Divine Shield, so it seems redundant. But I think it's just so good on this wing regardless that we'll be fine. And also, Divine Shield goes away sometimes, right? You can reapply it. So. Even Divine Shield minions. Get Blizzard to hook you up. I don't think they will, man. I think they treat some of those a little more sacred than others, right? Like, they... That's like a legit one. They probably CGIS don't want to give it away. What inspired you to participate in the Grand Masters tournament? <laughs> card back. Subway. One it's one of those. Bonus it's card. one of those uh, interviews before the like those interviews they always do. Uh, they did like all those like media it. interviews, and it's like Regis. What inspired you on this heroic journey? You went from memer to dreamer. You are now competing in Grand Masters. What was the prize at the end of the tunnel for you? What what? What was your, what was your, uh, your goal? Why did you chase this dream? All he says is one simple word. Card back. That's it. Card back. Oh my god, this is actually insane. <laughs> Card back. That's it. Card back. I haven't been doing the deck tracker's haste mal for the single player stuff. It's, it's not been doing much. It doesn't, like, add a lot of value or anything, so. We just turned it off. I'll do it when we get moved to Constructed. As soon as we beat this boss, we're going to go to Constructed today, so... We'll probably build a new deck today or something. Maybe play a deck to get warmed up and then build a deck. Actually, you know what we might do? We might push to Legend and Wild. I'm, I'm really close to Legend and Wild, so we may just go ahead and push through to that. Ugh, these are garbage. I do have an interesting little taunt build happening. Quite a few taunts in the deck already, so the Phalanx Commander is kind of cool, but... I think these mech cards are better in general. We also have some mech stuff happening, so I, I think a Noyo module, for instance, on Whirling Zapomatic or something, or Power Mace on Zapomatic is really cool. We'll go max. Plus, we just want to end this fight too. Like the the things at 16 health. Let's just end it, you know. Let's just end it. Double Zilliax is good. That's true. That's true. Double Zilliax would have been pretty cool, I guess. I still like this better though. It is time to save the world. I wonder if this, the Zilliax probably does not double if you magnetize it, right? It probably only doubles if you play it from hand, which does make that a little bit weaker. Just a little bit. A little bit weaker. Phalanx plus treasure that gives taunt. Oh, that's a cool idea. Yeah, go for the, uh, go for the titanic ring value. That's pretty sweet. It's a good idea. I like dim ideas. My nose is itchy today. Sometimes I get itchy nose. I don't know what causes that. Going face. Nope, going minion. Okay, cool. Is he going to kill it? Nope. Could have got my redemption off. Sadly, he did not. This is just better, right? Pretty much just always better. I mean, it's crazy. Maxwell is ridiculous with double legendaries. Forget about it, man. Nothing else matters. Forget it. Sure would be a shame if that minion came back, huh, boss? Huh, boss? Face is the place where the helpful bosses die. That's the song, man. For scratch your nose, do some of you go up and down or right and left? Up and down? I go right and left, always. Because it's like inside the nostril for me, so... Going up and down? No, always. Always right and left. Because I think my mustache hairs kind of like prickle my nose a little bit and that causes the problem. Oh, I love Amakir in this one so much. He's also just another good legendary that gets doubled, right? Um, Shutterwalk is not awesome, probably. These all seem bad. We're going to have some healing for that Zandalari, I guess. Do we have any good battle cries? Like, not, not really, huh? I think maybe Discovery's it. Just give us some options, stuff to do. Stalls with Stonehill, that sort of thing. 
He's so much value. Maxwell the value beetle. Is he a scarab or a beetle? He's a scarab, right? Scarab. Pop up tavern. This had charge for a second. I love it. I love it. Um, let's see. Tell a story is pretty insane with Alec here. Bizarre Bob is the toughest encounter. Subway 100. We could do the same thing by removing one of these, right? Or even removing the micro mummy. It might be okay too. I don't really want these enemy minions. They're not that good for us, right? They're all kind of weak, I think. What so exactly maybe we'll go work, work, and uh, sacrifice our micro mummy. I like the micro mummy okay, to be honest, but I just don't want to do anything else. So. Okay, cool. Alec here at 5 7. It's nuts. 10 damage from hand. Like, we only need to do 16 damage to the enemy boss, so. <laughs> That's GG, right? Like, just one Alec here is all we need. Uh, Bizarre Bob is the toughest encounter. It is hard. You gotta figure out what to do, man. It's hard. I'd like to spend more time with Bob. I love Bob. I guess, is Bob gonna be in every adventure mode moving forward? I don't know what we're gonna get for the, uh, for the next, next, uh, single player stuff. I know nothing about that. I wish I knew something about that. I like, I like to know about things early. It feels good. It feels good. Oh my god, Alec, you're doubled! You're right! Oh my god! Oh my god, you're right! It's 20 damage! Oh my god. Yeah, the upgraded encounter is, is nuts, Elian. Yeah, it's so much fun. I wish we were getting it more often. It seems like it's rare. It, initially, I thought it was only going to be worth it if you um, if you got it early in the run, like in the first half before Bob the first time, but I'm I think it's worth it both times. I'm not supposed to tell you this, but Bob is actually the villain in Expansion 3 Subway 100. <laughs> Bonus 10. <laughs> Dude, that would be a twist. What a twist. What a twist. That would be quite the shocker, wouldn't it? Bob comes back as, as some kind of evil villain. Man, I couldn't handle that. That'd be too much for me. Too much for my meager brain to process, I think. The light dims, but we are hey. Nice, you know where it's at. 20 damage Alakir, guys. That's that's the only card we need to play. We can just pass, 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 play Alakir. GG. GG. Cthulhu has sure got the best of us this run, though, man. Or these runs. It's taking so many runs. Oh, this is this is my jam right here. This is my jam. Give me them free spells, Amakir. Give me them spells. You were right to worry. I might have missed Lethal, by the way. I'm pretty sure we did. <laughs> <laughs> I could have had this attack, but it's okay. I wanted the free spells, okay? Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's okay. All I needed was free spells, all right? Nobody cares about lethals and there's free spells on the line, all right? Nobody cares. Amakir with Wind Fury too. Oh my god. Look at I just love this card so much. I love him so much. He just keeps giving and giving and giving. He's one of the most selfless cards in Hearthstone. Bob is actually a dragon, and we've only seen him in his human form. Oh my god, his real name is like Babagathos, a chromatic dragon in Dawn of the Dragons. Raglite Lord's pretty sweet. Feoris Avenging Wrath is kind of cool because we just need damage to the boss. Um, I'm gonna take this actually. <laughs> like, I just need to deal 16 to the final boss, so like we're gonna change the deck for it, right? Babagathos. That's a good name, I feel like. It sounds evil. Bazaar Babagathos. So in the final adventure of the year, you'll, it'll be another Dungeon Run style. But the tavern you'll go to, he'll, he'll do stuff to your deck. So like, he will, he'll remove cards from your deck that you like. And he'll, he'll add bad cards to your deck. Oh my god, I want that. I want that. That sounds fun. Baba Yago, yeah, exactly. Uh, gonna give Bob all these weird professions like bodybuilder Bob in future expansions. Yeah, if we, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we like, where could we go? We could go under under the sea, under the sea, and uh, we could have a. What's the uh, Vashir or whatever the under the sea land? What's it called? Vashir, is that right? Something like that. We go under the sea. Bob is a diver. He's a he's a scuba diver. Scuba Bob, and then we go to. Um, we go to, where else could we go? We could go to Wintergrasp, and he's like a mountain hiker, like, uh, you know, kind of, uh... I will defend the honor of life. Uh, 
mountain climber Bob, you know? Sherpa Bob. Sherpa Bob would be a good name. Oh my god. What if you get to play as Bob versus the infinite dragonfly? Can we get a Bob skin for every class? Well, that would ruin the game, though, because that would be all people would play. They'd only play Bob, right? You, you would just only play Bob no matter what. Just Bob constantly. I'm going to have so many cards. <laughs> I have no way to dump this hand sufficiently for these Amakirs right now. <laughs> Been healing's bad, actually, right? Um, Your presence offends me. This will this will actually get killed. One. Okay, good, better. We're still gonna have an extra spell once I play these, huh? Uh, Siphon Soul. Siphon Soul's a problem because it kills my minion instead, right? It kills my minion. But 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 that said, this might die anyway, so it's probably worth it. Okay, so this puts me at 10. I can't play this or I'll draw more, right? Might hit here. That's fine. This this dies now. Well, he may not. I don't know what you pick. What does he choose? Is it random? Good. Good, good, good. Redemption's awesome on that. And we keep the Amigas alive, so. It's pretty much a dream. Not my whelp! I keep getting freaking lay on hands. Like the one things I cannot play. Right? Okay, that we can play at least. Now I can Spirit Lash as well, just to make some space, right? Tidal Surge. Lightning Heal. Okay, give me Holy Fires. Steel Light's good, and Holy Fire, yeah, exactly. Oh my god, we just got lethal. <laughs> what? <laughs> Actually, overkill lethal, because this is going to attack too. Jeez. Well, that was a sick turn. Okay. Amakir is completely busted. Because you get damage out of it, which is nuts. It's so nuts. We just take this, right? Because the boss has 16 health. All we want is just to kill it, and a, a weapon on the beginning of the game might do that on its own. These Zilliaxes are crazy. We already have a mech package, and Zilliax with the double summon is pretty nuts. Realm of the new god. Bob has arisen and slain all the old gods. Or maybe they've merged together to form Bob. The essence of evil. Bizarre Bob. That's why he's so bizarre. The other spelling of the word. Bizarre. Um, I don't really want these minions. I think we just give this guy a bunch of stuff and then we discount this guy, right? And then we just end the turn. I don't really want... I don't really want those. Okay. This is the one, guys. This is the run. This is the run. This is the one. I don't hang around here often, but I get a strong vibe that Regis likes Smork. Uh, not really much in Constructed, no. Uh, I think I mostly play control decks, honestly, like slower stuff, but uh, mostly just whatever's fun. I don't really care. If it's weird and fun, that's the most important thing. But yeah, face is the place for good players. <gasps> oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll take 20 damage that summons the 8 minions on turn 1. Yeah, for free, sure. I swear to god I put that on the right, but I guess not. The game has other... <laughs> the game believes otherwise, eh? The battle. Jeez. The battle. Oh, forgot to attack. Whoopsie. That's Wind Fury, we just, that's how that works. Mass Ricks, dude! Tier 1, 6 Eli, months in a row! Eli, finally got the oh, why, 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 why? Happy to have hey, to spend why, why, why? tuning in to someone so hey, why, why, why? Hey, why, why, why? Good to see you, dude. Thank you much, Mazrix. Much love. Much love. Oh, shoot. I can't attack. Oh, God. I made a mistake. I want these to attack. Whoopsie. Just ignore that. Pretend I attacked, okay? We're not going to kill him in two turns anyway, so it kind of works out either way. Doesn't really matter. Much love. Oh, thanks, dude. Congrats on the purple badge. Looking real good. Looking real good. I think at least. Looking real good. 
real, real good. Basically, can't ever attack if I want extra dudes, right? Sort of forbidden from attacking here. Uh, we have lethal set up for next turn. I'm gonna do eight. Uh, I guess. I guess I should attack. Oh, I could spirit lash him off. Okay, never mind. Let's do that. This is a weird play. <laughs> this is a strange play. <laughs> it just makes the Amagir attack again, right? Don't don't freak out, chat. That's a good play, man. That's a good play. It's a great play, chat. That's a great play. Psycho lethal to me. Cool. That's a good weapon. I wish we would have got that against the Plague Lord, dude. That would have been nuts. What would be the best possible weapon? I guess Doomhammer, right? We would we would get a 410 Doomhammer. That would be 40 damage. We only need 16 those, so maybe just like Gorhal would be fine. That might be all. That would be sufficient, perhaps. Uh, it looks like this one, right? So many Zilliac summons. We'll never die. We'll never die, Jolene. Not Lee. We don't have a lot of spells. This is probably good. Yeah, Gorhal is probably the best. 3 9. I thought it added 2 2. Oh, no, it did only add 1 1. That was 5 attack. Oh, never mind. Okay, yeah, it would be a 3 9 Gorhal. Still, still pretty good. 27 damage would be fine, too. Pretty good. 2 2 is the Bob power. Oh, okay, got it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I forgot this was the treasure. Yeah, you're right. I was getting him confused. Uh, Super Collider ain't it, man. It's, uh, I don't really have Power Mace up right now, I think. Time is money, friend. Bam, 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 bam. That's what you sound like, Beardo. How does that make you feel? Do you like sounding like that, Beardo? Sniff Staff's pretty sweet because we just get two of them, right? That's that's rather nice. Um, okay, we can hit this here to kill both of these because of the positioning. Thank you, boss. Play the Snip. Appreciate it, boss. The buff on the uh, Super Collider coming in clutch there to take the trade, eh? I dig it. Oh, I wish you'd killed the minion, maybe, but it's fine. Lothab doesn't really matter to us too much. I am taking a lot of damage, I guess, though. Jeez. Like a lot of damage. Um. This feels sort of weird, but I think it's still technically correct. I don't care about the Kobold Hermit, right? I want to be able to trade these off so the Power Mace can hit something with Wind Fury, right? Oh, perfect. Thank you, man. That's, that's exactly what I was looking for, dude. <laughs> perfect. Thank you, sir. Um, actually, we might better off be better off going with, like, Mechano Egg here. No, let's, let's play for the Whirling Zappo, I guess. Let's play for the Whirling Zappo. Well, you know what we can do, actually, is this, too. This is pretty good as well. Okay. This is this is a little risky because this could easily die to something, right? But it's fine. It's like a 50-50. Okay, I do need some life gain soon. I have a million Zilliaxes, so I mean, hopefully we can hit one of those soon because I'm actually getting a little nervous about my life total here. So this is going to go up to 4-4. Four, four. So I could probably just hit the flame map, trade once, go face, and then Avenging Wrath, right? I could arguably even just leave up the flame imp as well. It's pretty likely to die. Let's just do that. Let's do that. Weapon ready. Weapon ready. Yeah, let's just see what happens. There's a world where I might fade into the flame imp. I think it's a very, very unlikely world, but it's it's a world to consider. Because 13 health is kind of scary, right? I, I have so many ways to fix that, but... Currently, they don't exist. Alakir will soon do just lethal. But we're not there yet. Taking another two here. Oh my god, I'm actually getting a little nervous. Like, we could lose this game. Okay, Righteous Protector is handy, honestly. That's good news. Okay. Okay. 
Don't hit this. Oh, great. It's perfect. So, if this lives, we have lethal next turn. Which I don't know if it will. He, he might go face, actually, so there's a chance. Hey, there's the card I needed. Okay, looks like lethal. Sweet. Sweet. 26. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Barely, man. We're down to 8. That's spooky. Alright. Final boss time, 16 health, here we go! If we lose to the 16 health boss, I'm never playing Tombs of Terror again. Cancel my videos, Blizzard. By the way, guys, if you didn't see, I had a cool video on the official Hearthstone channel yesterday. You should check it out. I think it'll be awesome for you. Uh, Zafiris' Lamp, let's go. Sure. And these don't really matter, but we'll take another Zilliax. That puts us at Zilliax number four. <laughs> it's just great. I would have preferred to not pick cards, honestly, if I could have. Let's see what weapon we get, guys. I'm really excited. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's end this game before it even starts, right? If I never have to play a minion, that's... that's oh, Maxwell's good, too, though. Maxwell's gonna be just fine. Do I keep this? I think it's still too slow, right? Like, eight mana is so far off. What's our weapon? What's our weapon? What's our weapon? I can't see it yet. I can't see it yet. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Um, yeah, actually, that's fine. It's 15 damage. He's at 16 health. Let's go. What does this give us on turn zero? Turn one. Oh, God, these all suck, dude. Why didn't he give me a one mana card? I don't... Oh, actually, Dredge Corsair is pretty good. It's one mana. Yeah, okay, never mind. It did. It did give me a one mana card. I take it back, team. Oh, should have attacked first. That's a mistake. I lost a damage point. Two damage points there. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Is this lethal? I think this might be lethal right now. Um, right? I think this is just lethal. <laughs> is this the mo Oh, it could have actually not been lethal. Shoot. Well, maybe not because of the uh, reborn. I think it was always lethal. Okay. Oh! Oh, no! No! <laughs> no! Oh, no! Shoot! No! I blew it! I blew it, team! No! <laughs> Soiled the easy victory. The YouTube video's ruined. It's ruined. As if it was so difficult to win. Oh no, we barely made it. We barely made it. We barely made it. Okay, GG. Another Plague Lord down. We might just save the world. No, here. no, God, please, no, 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 Subway 100 bonus. <laughs> that boss was basically Toby. The boss was Toby. Okay, sweet, we did it, guys.